You should forget about portability and subtleness with the MSI GE76 Raider. It is all about performance. Well, if we have to be honest, it is not that heavy at 2.9 kilos, but the hardware it employs requires a decent cooling capacity. We are talking about a system that can potentially house an Intel Core i9-11980HK overclockable CPU, and an RTX 3080 with a 165 watts TGP. As we said, this laptop isn't the most compact one on the market. However, everything about it is made with a purpose. MSI didn't waste any space and made sure the 25.9mm profile of the device can be a benefit. And sure it is, as the manufacturer has implemented a keyboard with long key travel and clicky feedback. All in all, it feels almost like a mechanical keyboard. In addition to that, they managed to cram four speakers inside which sound very well. This notebook has one of the best input-output selections out there. You get a Thunderbolt 4 connector, USB Type-C 3.2 Generation 2 port, 1 Type-A 3.2 Generation 2 plus 2 Generation 1 ports, Mini Display Port, HDMI Connector, LAN Port, SD Card Reader, and an Audio Jack. As a standard, there are two SODOM slots for up to 64GB of DDR4 RAM in dual channel mode, as well as two M.2 slots for storage. One with 3rd generation PCI Express and one with 4th generation. Check out our disassembly video to see the opening procedure. There are so many display options that it would take a long time to list them all. So, the highlights here are the 360Hz 1080p panel and the 240Hz 1440p one. Our model is equipped with a 300Hz 1080p display, which boasts wide viewing angles and a good contrast ratio of 1000 to 1. Additionally, the panel offers vibrant and punchy colors with its 94% sRGB coverage. For what it's worth, MSI offers calibration software for this model, and it achieves pretty decent color accuracy. However, if you want to use the device for color-sensitive work, our gaming and web design profile brings the Delta E to a standard matching value of 1.2. Sure enough, the 300Hz refresh rate is paired with fast pixel response times, and you can use the overdrive function in the Dragon Center for an even snappier gaming experience. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Usually, gamer-centric laptops don't excel at battery performance. This is why MSI has put the largest battery possible on a laptop with a capacity of 99.9 watt hours. Thankfully, the outcome of this is more than 7 hours of either web browsing or video playback on a single charge. This notebook comes with up to Core i9-11980HK, and the RTX 3080. A firmware update soon after the release of the laptop allowed for a TGP of 165 watts on the graphics card. It doesn't really bring much of a performance benefit, but it allows for a bigger overclock headroom. Although the overclocking potential of a laptop is pretty limited, you can do a thing or two to improve your FPS. You can use the built-in cooler boost function to max out the fans. This lets the device run Assassin's Creed Valhalla with more than 80 FPS at ultra settings. Respectively, Borderlands 3 runs at 105 FPS at the badass setting, which means that this laptop can crush every title out there at 1080p, and even 1440p. By the way, we have a playlist of 42 games for the 165 watts RTX 3080 tested at all graphics presets. Before buying this laptop you have to keep in mind that it's not cheap. However, for the price of a decent second-hand hatchback, you get one of the best gaming laptops on the market. And even though it offers immense power and astonishing displays, it allows you to carry it around and browse the web on battery for more than 7 hours at a time. Good luck doing that with the arm-breaking GT Titan series. 